Good afternoon, my people. Thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. Here we are going back home. It's been the uh, dog is a uh, um, I just made a Spanish video. Um, I'm gonna load that before I load this one. It's the beginning of uh, not the beginning, but the first half of the workout. Right now, the dog is more than the dog is fatigued. I'm trying to uh find his boundaries without make creating too much stress on him. I'm just waiting for this like hesitant to go so yeah the dog is super tired um this type of work that i'm doing right now is uh pretty much let him pull for uh, x amount of time until i feel him getting uh tired then i give him see he, he, he's throwing up the internal fat He's throwing up the internal fat right there. How do you see how they, how they make this happen? Come on. Like, uh, this is basically what I'm working on. Removing the internal fat for no other reason than keeping him healthy. Uh, so I was saying, this workout program I'm doing today, uh, I'm giving him a chance. Now I'm not let, allowing him to do that workout right now. I'm not pushing him to do that workout right now because he's dealing with throwing this uh, internal fat out of his system. Uh, so basically what the workout I'm doing is him going at 100% dragging me or trying to drag me, pull me uh, for a certain amount of time. I'm not giving him time. I'm, I'm more going by feel, rope feel. When the, I feel that... Uh, he got into a stressful point or a time point of fatigue. Right now, he he decided to pull hard harder, so I'm allowing him to do that for a little bit. But as you saw, he's still clearing that internal fat from his system. But uh, like I said, I'm doing a certain amount of him pulling 100%. Then we stop and, and rest for a minute, a couple of minutes, depending on how I see him. Then we continue do the same thing. On and off, so that way he every time he is walking with me, he's giving me 100%. Right now, I'm, I'm allowing him to ha have active active rest. So basically, not pulling me. The rope is loose, but he's walking, still being active, but he's not pulling. And then in a the, in the minute, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna sit down, allow him to take a breather and allow that lactic acid to run through his body and hopefully if we continue to do this type of workout the body is going to learn how to uh, get rid of that lactic acid quicker and recuperate a lot faster uh, this will also obviously help him uh, deal with stressful situations if, if, if they ever happen where he has to uh, where he he's in barnstormer He's a type that, that that's the mentality he has. So I need to work, make sure that he has enough in the tank, so that barn storm, storming lasts. Watch your dog, señor. Agarra ese perro. Está bien? Okay. I just gotta be careful, guys. So. So anyway, yeah. So I just have to pay attention to that. That, that was like a Mala News Husky or Mala News. So, I don't know. It's Mala, yeah, Mala News is different than a Husky. It's a, it's a Mala News. That, that's, there was a dog like that over there, but it's a little far. And it didn't show any type of aggression, so we are good. So we are walking here now, making sure to watch him. He is not pulling because I don't want him to pull. I want him to uh, recuperate in, re in active rest. So that is something I also trying to do with this dog, getting his body into active rest and being able, able to recoup while still being active. Obviously, the dog has to be uh, 
uh, uh, less active for that to happen. And then in a minute, I'm going to stop somewhere. I'm going to sit down for a minute or two so that way we can have him rest. Probably I'll stop here for, for me, see? So anyway, this is all about, you know, keeping the dogs tired so that the dogs are happy. This is not about, oh, why are you doing this? I know there's people out there saying, hey, why are you putting him through this? My God, he's a baby. No, but he's not a baby. He's a dog. He's a working dog. And as such, you need to work him. You can't baby the dog that is working because then he'll be a naughty boy. <laughs> you know, it's not, a, it's, it's not his fault. Right now, the tire, more tired he is, the more manageable he's going to become. And this is true with any dog. The, a tired dog is a more manageable dog. You can train, uh, I guess, socialize your dog better if the dog is uh, tired. Or as, the more tired they are, the more they are going to uh, to uh, be able to accept socialization because there's no dri there's less drive of them trying to do what they normally wants to do, which is probably you know get get at a dog or get at a uh, um, at the animal. And see, I gave him enough rest so that he's not walking, but you know. Uh, this is uh, one of the type of exercises I do. Obviously, there's uh, another way to get rid of internal fat on, on the slap mill. That's a different type. And since this dog is you, this dog is at 100% um, raw meat, a raw diet. So he does get a lot of fat in his diet, and perhaps that is also that has been accumulating in his organs internally. So we need to get that out of his system so that he can uh, perform better, breathe better, and then, you know, feel better, feel healthier. Especially in the summer. Come on, come on. Oh, you can hear how he is. He's wheezing. And uh, I guess that's, he, he, this is one of his deficiencies. He's a very strong dog. He has a lot of good qualities. But when... Endurance is a question mark. So when I do a, a conditioning program, I do a conditioning program according to the need of the individual dog. Listen to that again. When I create a, a conditioning program for my dogs, it's an individual program that is fo focused on the uh, weaknesses of that individual dog. Obviously, who not saying we are ignoring enhancing the enhancing the uh, best qualities but we are we are the, making sure that through his life he will perform better at, at what he's weak at and again I've noticed that he does get tired quicker than other dogs I've had in the past and I've had many dogs many 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 dogs so so I am going to focus on him having better win because he that's his weakness he, he's, he's very powerful so I won't be focusing on strength training as much as endurance come on but you could hear him but he is still working. I am going to make give him a little rest in a little bit. So that way I make sure that he he he's there just at the eleventh hour. Being twelve being okay, I'm done. I'm I am finito. I'm keeping him there so that his clock is bigger. So he's able to endure a lot more as time progresses as the conditioning program con progresses he'll be able to do the same thing he he's done today without reacting like this all right right now i'm allowing him to be next to me because again back to being resting rest active rest so that way i make sure in the event he thought about it 
he doesn't quit on me. Number one. But like I said, the, the, the female I used to breed with him, has no, we have no problem in terms of wind. No, no problem. So hopefully the, the offsprings, or at least most of them, will come out like the mom in that sense. And in the good qualities like the pops. So we'll see. The dogs are almost 11 months now. We, we're hanging out. I see a lot of the good things. I see a lot of, of uh, dad and da dad and mom in the pubs. But we'll see at the end when when it's time for them to start working out, conditioning. We'll see. We'll see when when it's time to see what they are about as as adult dogs. We'll see if they get tired. We'll see if they, if, if, if the negative qualities of of the parents show up. And hopefully they don't. But if they do, then we know who not to breed and who to breed for the next generation to make better dogs. All right? So right now, I'm trying to get uh, to a point where I can uh, rest for a few minutes, uh, maybe a minute, and then continue on. But for people that really think that this is a breed that you can make money out, out of and you know it's easy these, these are dogs these dogs are not easy to maintain they're not easy to keep happy and definitely 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 a tired dog is a happier dog a tired dog is a more manageable manageable dogs okay so anyway this is not gonna be a long video just wanted to make sure I greet you Let's see if I can show you the dad up close when I stop for um, when I stop to rest. I don't see like a place I can sit down, so I might might just continue walking. We are pretty close to the end, and he is still in front. So that is what a part of where I gauge if he's still willing. He has more energy than saying, "All right, let's stop." But it, it all matters. It all matters since, you know, we know that dog fighting is illegal. We need to find out other, find other avenues to check our dogs, you know, in different aspects. It takes a lot more time, but this is one. You know, a person came and wanted, wanted to give him water. I politely uh, declined the offer. I politely said, no, thank you. I want my dog to be... In this circumstance, I want him to be to exercise while he's thirsty and see what happens. Will they will the dog quit? I say, Oh, I'm too thirsty, I'm gonna stop. Or will the dog continue to con work even when he's thirsty and tired? That's important, you know. It's important. The dog is now dehydrated for those individuals that are keeping that have that in their mind oh my god the dog is dehydrated no the dog the dog has been out all day with water available all day so just when i started to uh just just when i started to take him out i, I mean he stopped obviously he started drinking water when i i took him out so it's not like he's been all day without water he he's a born summer and I knew that he would go, go on bananas at the beginning. So I am making sure that he keeps that, that energy level or close to that energy level as long as possible. And then when he can't have that low energy level, at the very least, have the dog, have the dog's body recuperate from fatigue, from lactic acid, build up in their muscles a lot faster if then if I didn't do this type of exercise. Obviously, there's all the things that you can do. You know, see, here But this is, this is something I'm showing to you guys because obviously, you know, I want, I want to help people. I know people, there's a lot of people out here that uh, they keep everything a secret. Oh, no, don't say that. Oh, no, don't say this. Uh, the only time I don't say something is when somebody else has told me something new 
and I promise not to say it. And I won't say it to anybody. I, I, I'm a person that, of my word, so uh, I, do, I do value my word above anything else. So anyway, so yeah, so this, this, is, this is a good exercise for him. I won't do it, this with all the dogs, not all the time. I do do it some, sometimes. It all depends. You know, like I said, I, I build a, a conditioning program according to the dog. I don't, I don't push a dog into a conditioning program. Obviously, because some things don't, won't work on one dog, so you're, or not. Hold on. So, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna let you out, guys here go, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to make long videos. Trying to make sure that it's only 15 minutes or less. But well, anyway, this is Tony Montana. Until next time. Say bye bye, boy. I mean, boss. Uh. Bye, Sebastian. El que anda con Dios no teme nada. Sí.